The year is 2020. All your favorite shops and restaurants are closed down. It's a Friday night and you want to hang out with your friends, but you can't because they're all dying of COVID or something. So it looks like you got to hang out with your good old pal PS5 tonight. My name is Tony Stallion and this is a PS5. We're going to play the worst games on it today. If you want to see me play more terrible games, how about you hit that subscribe button. Enjoy. Yeah. Goat Simulator 3 for the PS5. Does anybody remember this game? Like, this game blew up the world when it first came out, and it's still, I don't know how they're still doing it, they're still making it. These games are amazing. Now, this isn't terribly rated. We've got a 68 meta score. The people actually do like this game more. 7.9 out of 10, that's pretty crazy. For a game about goats, that's insane. Let's look at some reviews. S4V0 says, fantastic, 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 fantastic. Juicer underscore said, sorry for my bad England. I'm 48 year old man from Somalia and I sold my wife for internet connection so I can play Goat Simulator 3. That's fantastic, Juicer. I think that's a great financial decision. Fuck your wife. <laughs> so here we are. We've loaded into the game. We're being uh, taken on this. Uh, what is that? A tractor? A taxi tractor? <laughs> this guy is staring at me. Hey, you're finally awake. Wait, where's the guy from Rorikstead? Are you, any of you guys from Rorikstead? It's a great place. Here we are. We're Goat Simulator of the Third. Oh, they've really spruced this game up a little bit since I last played it. They got amazing graphics and they got a triple jump. Oh, shit, that's so cool. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Wow. I, get <laughs> I mean, if you weren't playing Goat Simulator around the time when it came out, I think it came out like 2014 or something, you just don't know, okay? This game was so revolutionary for video games at the time. Is that all you got? I mean, a game where you play as a goat? That's insane. When, when do you ever get to be a goat? Whoa. What is this place? I love how in the cutscenes you have full control over your goat. Like, I can just jump around and do my own thing while these cutscenes are playing. Whee! Wow, this game has full ray tracing and everything. Oh my god. Wow. Ray traced goats. Amazing. So I have little objectives in the top right corner. The first one is do a backflip. So I'm going to try and just ragdoll. Okay, that wasn't really a backflip. That was, that was close enough though, right? Okay, I think I got it. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go jump. Jump. Okay, he definitely broke his spine. I think we're going to need a new goat. Oh, we actually have quests. So green thumbs, tend to the plants. Oh, this is what they mean. So you guys need help uh, with, with the plants and stuff. All right. Welcome to plant school. Step one, fertilizer. Step two, put the fertilizer on the plant. Step three, uh, blow on the plant. And step four is you get a beautiful seed. And this guy's dead. Where is the fertilizer? It's somewhere here. Oh, shit. Oh, there we are. So we got the fertilizer. And I'm just going to sprinkle the fertilizer on the plants. And look at that. Oh, my God. So beautiful. I don't know what the third step is. Maybe we're going to bring a sacrifice to, to the plant. All right. Come on. I'm going to need you for a second. The fuck is the third step? Get out of here. I don't need you. Oh, <laughs> shit. I headbutted Larry Borgensen. <laughs> they got names. Oh my god, I just headbutted Morgan. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the best game we're gonna play today. So I, I guess it's just gonna get worse from here. I mean, we can even drive cars. What the fuck, man? This is a game about a goat. I can drive a car. This is Grand Theft Auto Goat Simulator. Fuck your pumpkins. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rest easy. All is well. The goat is fine. Yeah, this game gets a solid 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, shit. Don't mind me, just bouncing on a trampoline. Pretty high up right now. Whee! Oh, what a fantastic game. I love you, Goat Simulator. Please never change. Yeah. Next up, we've got a game called Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. And guess what we do in the game? We play as a werewolf. This has a 54 meta score, a 4.1 user score. IGN Portugal gave it a 40. Not much more can be said about Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. A good idea that deserved a lot. Okay, boring. I just want the user reviews. I want the funny reviews. Oh, scary CGI intro with werewolves and wolves and oh my god, it's so epic. This game looks like shit. A helicopter just touched down on the site's <laughs> landing pad. Apparently I can't see you. <laughs> My, 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 my big fucking out. head is blocking you, my view. I don't care. I just want to be a werewolf. Man, just get to the werewolf part. Oh, I can be a wolf. Why am I jumping so high? That doesn't seem accurate. 
I'm done fucking around. Oh shit, everyone. Hey, he's done fucking around. I think he's gonna be a werewolf now. Oh shit. Yeah, play the rock music. Fucking kill everyone. Wow, the graphics are so shit. I'm not gonna lie, all this game really has going for it is the blood effects. Like, why are we bleeding so much, guys? These developers were just like, hey, we don't really have a good game, but at least we got blood. Fucking, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Next up is Garden of Ban Ban. Gloop Stinko said, I love Garden of Ban Ban. I like it because Opium Bird reminds me of Chica, and Chica make my pee pee go poo. Also, Jumbo Joshua has a level 15. Yeah! Okay, now I have to check out this game. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a game made for kids. It looks very uh, friendly, child friendly. Um, this is something that you could play with maybe your three year old. And you'd have a yeah, explain the time, you know? We got the door open! Yeah, oh my god, what is that? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, this is definitely a fucking horror game, holy shit. The fuck is this game? Yeah. This is post the four, no regrets. Now this game did come on the PS5, we got a 15 meta score. That's terribly low. But I literally cannot play this game in my country. Like it's only in the US. Like this is what happens when I try to find Postal 4. It's, it's not on the PS5 store. <laughs> now, Postal 2 was a fantastic game. I used to play that shit so much as a kid. It was such a cool game. Jeez, pull your pants up. <laughs> Now the flowers will grow. Romy gave it a 0 out of 10. This game is actually a soulless mess for 0 out of 10. Thankfully, it's not burning today. Hey, this game isn't that bad, you know? At least you can blow up homeless people. I genuinely just don't know what to do in this game. It wants me to get a job, but I can't even escape this 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 fucking prison. So what if I killed a couple of people, right? Maybe they could have gotten me a job, but it's too late now, okay? Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. And it looks like I can't even do that because this door is locked. This game does fucking suck. I don't even know how to play it. When you hear the word golem, do you think, wow, that is probably the worst game ever made? Because that's what I think when I hear that, and I have to try it out myself. 33 meta score, 1.3 out of 10 from the users. Jesus, that is low. Loxagon said, it's a very good game. I have a great time, no bugs. Critics against this game are unfair. Best game of 2023. Okay, well, that's all I need to see. I've genuinely wanted to play this game for so long, and I'm so happy that I finally get to play it. Like, you don't understand how excited I am. I paid $20 for this. It was on sale. Thank the Lord. Because if I had to pay like $100 for this brand new game, I think I would have just... This is history. Look at his bulging eyeballs. Jesus. Holy shit. This is one of those games where just... The developers really fucked up. Holy shit. Like, this is just crazy. I feel like I'm experiencing something insane in the, in the, the world of gaming. Can I jump off this? Okay, thank you. <laughs> what? That's the fucking death seed? Holy shit, man. This game cannot be real. This game is not real. I've refused to believe I'm experiencing this right now. We hate this land. Hate it. At least I got Golem to voice Golem. Thank you, Golem. You actually did a great performance for this one. Father, the fucker, the helpers! The helpers! And up, and up again. And up, and up again. <laughs> oh shit! Golem! No! What happened to the graphics in this game? Like, why does he look like that? Is he just dirty or. I think that's just like the way to fucking. What the fuck did they do, man? Alright, so so far this is just climbing simulator, which is fine because we're Golem, okay? It makes perfect sense. But where the fuck is the ring? I actually have no idea what I was just doing. Like, I'm just running around in this game. Oh no, Golem! Ah, it's so loud! No, Frutter, so be careful. If your stamina runs out, you will fall. 
Okay, Don't thanks for the advice, in. Colin. Wow, these graphics are insane. This is on a PS5. This is PS5 graphics. Fucking take a look at that. That is a PS5. Your birthday. What even are those things falling on me? Oh my god, this is so freaky. Dude, I don't even want to play this game because it actually genuinely sucks. Like, this is probably one of the worst fucking games I've ever played. And that's not an exaggeration. That's not a joke. Like, this is genuinely one of the worst games I've fucking played in my life. What the fuck even was that? I didn't even move my stick. I would love to play this game more, but like, look at what I'm working with. Like, what the fuck is this game? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, after a game like Golem, it genuinely cannot get worse, I don't think. I, at least, I don't think. This is Serious Sam 4, playing a badass. Now, this is a 68 meta score. This isn't really a bad game, necessarily. It just looked like an interesting game, and I heard some people called it bad. So, I mean, I guess we'll check it out. Game Space gave it a 90. Holy shit, Sam Stone is back, and the folks at Crow Team have made one hell of a fun FPS. I thought that said piece of shit. <laughs> this is Serious Sam 4, and holy shit, I've never seen so many characters on the screen at once. This is fucking insane. What is this? Holy shit, what is that? Dude, the fucking frame rate. This is a PlayStation 5. Hold on, let me check out this thing. Are you okay? Are you right? Okay. Okay, I think the PlayStation 5 is okay. But holy shit, what the fuck is this game, man? Back to it. <laughs> Dude, what is this shit? This is the best game ever! Bro. Italy, 92 hours earlier. Okay, what has happened in the past like four days for it to get like that? The aliens are fucked. So, holy shit, that's an alien! What is that? What type of alien are you? What planet are you from? Okay, I guess he's dead. Uh, sir, these Octanian Harvester Leviathans are a lot bigger than I imagined. It's not the size, kid. It's how you use it. This game just strikes me as, as something that just doesn't take itself too seriously. And anything that doesn't take itself too... too, 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 too. We got a new gun. A double shotgun. Let's go. This is going to be a lot more gory. Gun, Back. Oh, Get away from me. <laughs> shit. Dude, that guy got ripped in half. Fuck. This game is nuts. I love it. Dude, honestly, this game isn't the best. Like, it's not the best made game. It doesn't have the most amazing graphics or performance or animations or anything, right? But it has character. This game has a personality. And I fucking love it. Serious Sam is not serious at all. He's actually probably the funniest guy I know. <laughs> yeah. Last but not least, we have probably the holy grail of the worst games ever made. And that is Grand Theft Auto. But... Wait, not that Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, okay? It got a 54 meta score, so like, I mean, it's not really a terrible game, it's just, I really love GTA 3. I want to see what they did to this game. Okay, this is like my beloved Grand Theft Auto game. I have it, I have it. Where is it? Somewhere here. I have it, look, right here. Right here. Grand Theft Auto 3. This is, this is the good one. Look at it. There it is. How beautiful is that? Oh my god. Zoom in on it. Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2. Like this game, this game is not Grand Theft Auto 3. This is fucking something else. This game just looks disgusting. It looks like just... Why does Claude look like a fucking action figure? Why? Alright, here we go. Misty, drop her off. That's plastic Misty. That's not the real Misty. This is all fake. This, this, this world is fake. Oh, cheat codes. Fuck. That's right. This game sucks so bad that you can't even do the flying tank cheat code. Like, it literally fucking doesn't work. Can we even swim in this? I bet you can't. Bet you it just dies. Fuck, it doesn't even know how to swim. You suck. The fuck, Claude? Yeah. These were the worst PS5 games ever. I am depressed now because I just played one of my favorite games and it sucks. If you want to see me play more terrible games, how about you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, all that shit. How about you go ahead and click one of the videos here, whichever one you like more, 
I don't really mind, man. Hey, listen, listen. Just fucking watch me play terrible games. This shit is just... Ah, oh, fuck. Where the fuck are you?! <laughs>